first of all, you remember when we talked about compare, comparison of two vectors. So the first point was uh, comparing two vectors. We said two vectors may be like this. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. And like this. Okay. What do we say in the first case? These vectors are of the same direction or sense of magnitude. Excellent. So we have same direction, same direction, same sense and same let's do it as a table say here concerning the direction sense and magnitude so in the first case they have same direction same sense and same magnitude in the second case they have same direction different sense or same magnitude same direction, different sense, and same magnitude. Excellent. In the third case, uh, same direction, same uh, magnitude. La same direction, same sense, or different magnitude. Excellent. And in the last one, they have different, different directions. Direction. Different and different, maybe, magnitudes. Okay. This was about comparing two vectors. Now, what do we mean by equal vectors or equipollent vectors? Equal vectors. Two vectors are said to be equal if they have what? Same direction or same direction or sense of magnitude. Exactly. They must have the same direction. Same. Same. And same magnitudes or same magnitude. The magnitudes are equal. Okay. Now, what happens if we have two equal vectors? There is an important property. property okay if two e if two vectors are equal let's say vector a b is equal to vector c d suppose that vector a b is equal to c d this means the two vectors have the same what we said same direction same magnitude and same sense sense okay Look at these two vectors. This one and this one. Okay, which of them obeys this fact? In which case we have equal vectors? In which case we have oh, mm. the red one in the red figure? Yes. But also in the uh, orange figures, the vectors have the same direction, same sense, and same magnitude. Of course, I don't have here a ruler. They have same sense and same magnitude. So, what do you think? In both cases, they are called equal vectors. So, when we have two vectors are equal, we have two cases. Maybe they will be on the same line of action. That is, the points will be collinear. If this is AB and this is CD, then A, B, C, and D are collinear. Now, if I have AB equal to CD 
as vectors and the points A, B, C, and D are not collinear, if the points are not collinear, like in the second figure, A, B, C, D are equal vectors and the points are not collinear, then we can say that A, B, D, C is what? Parallelogram. Exactly. Okay, then this one is a parallelogram. Okay? So we say A, B, C, D. Sorry, A, B, D, C is a parallelogram. So this is an important property. Anytime you have two equivalent or equal vectors, and if they are not collinear as points, then directly you can say that they form a parallelogram. But take care of its name. It's not A, B, C, D. It will be A, B, then D, C. Now, then we talked about the meaning of opposite vectors. What do you mean by opposite vectors? Same direction, opposite sense to same magnitude. Excellent. So here, let's say point number four. First of all, let me explain the meaning of null vector. Null vector. A vector is said to be a null vector if the origin and the extremity of this vector coincide. That is a vector like AA, for example. AA vector. In this case, it is a point. AA vector. This vector is equal to zero. Zero vector. We write zero vector. It has no direction, no sense, no magnitude. It's a point. Okay? So if I if I told you that I have a vector a b, if a b equal to zero, what do you deduce? If a vector a b equal to zero, what do you deduce? What can you say about the points A and B? They are points. They are points. Mm -hmm. Which means they coincides they are the same point okay so this is the meaning of an all vector what's the meaning now of opposite vectors opposite vectors are vectors that have the same direction but opposite sense to same magnitude uh -huh. they have same direction it's like this case So we say we have here same direction. Okay, again, same direction, same magnitude, but opposite senses. Okay, then the, uh, if the first vector is called AB, the second vector will be what? BA. BA. So if the first vector is AB, the second vector will be BA. Now, if we add them AB and BA, what do we get? They are opposite vectors. The answer will be? Zero. Zero vector. Zero vector. Excellent. And consequently, we can say, Vector B, A, or let's take one of them to the right-hand side. We can say that vector B, A, for example, is the opposite. If you take A, B to the right-hand side, it becomes minus A, B. So we say that vector B, A is the opposite of vector A, B. We write B, A is equal minus A, B. So this is an important idea. Every time you want to 
flip the points of the vector. That is, if you have a vector LK, if you have a vector LK, if you flip the points KL, are these equal? Are these vectors equal? No. Of course not. No. Mm, they are opposite vectors. So for this reason, we put minus here and it will be correct. What do we mean by vector minus MN? We can yani write N -M. N -M. What do we mean by minus PQ? QP. It's QP. Excellent. Okay. So minus AB means BA. What else? Also, we have to uh, uh, recognize or recall the meaning of a unit vector. What do we mean by unit vector? So this is number six. Unit vector. A unit vector is every vector whose magnitude is equal to one unit. Okay. A vector is said to be a unit vector when the magnitude of the vector, the magnitude is one unit. Now, if we have a vector u, let's say I have a vector u. Is a u like this is called a vector, some vector. How do we denote the magnitude of the vector? We denote the magnitude of the vector like this. We put u between two uh, such as absolute value signs. This is called what? The magnitude magnitude of the vector. Magnitude of vector u. Also, Assume that we have a vector AB. If AB is a vector, AB like this is called a vector. What is the magnitude of AB? How do we not, we denote the, vec the magnitude of the vector AB? We put it between two absolute value signs. So this is called the magnitude of vector a, B. Okay. So now, if the magnitude of a vector U, if the magnitude of the vector is equal to 1, then this vector U is called what? What do we call the vector if its magnitude is equal to 1? Unit vector. A unit vector. Then U is called a unit vector. That is, some some uh, times the magnitude of the vector may be equal to three, three centimeter, for example. Another vector, for example, its magnitude will be four point eight meters. Let's say. Suppose that you have a vector W which is equal to. Uh, to radical five kilometers. Another vector, for example, uh, S, its magnitude is equal to, the magnitude of the vector means the distance that separates the origin. Every vector has an origin and an extremity, point. ending point. So if this vector, I call it S, for example, this vector has a magnitude, which is the distance from the this point to this point. Suppose that this distance is equal to three pi uh, miles, any unit of distance, okay? Now, all of these vectors, neither of these vectors is a, a unit vector. Now, if I have a vector T, for example, which is equal to one meter, so this vector is called? Unit? A unit, unit vector. vector. Yes, if another vector, for example, k is equal to one millimeter. So this is a 
يونت 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 So any vector whose magnitude is equal to one, then it's called a unit vector. Okay. Now, let's recall what are the methods of addition of vectors. Addition of vectors. It chases. Yes, we have two methods of adding vectors. Let's recall them. The first one. Chaseless relation, and we have also the parallelogram rule. Okay, the first one, the condition of chaseless relation is the vectors must be consecutive. That is, if the first vector is AB, then the second vector must be what? BC. B BC. BC, exactly. So now when we add them, what do we get? AC. AC. These vectors are consecutive vectors, as you see here. It's just like the opposite vectors, not C. Yeah, sure. The opposite vector. Of B, opposite vector, BA or AB, for example. AB plus EA. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit zero, yeah. بيطلع وات؟ لا هو بيطلع زيرو بالأوبوزيت فاكتور. Okay. Add them A B plus B A. What do you get? According to Chase's relation, these are consecutive vectors. So we take the origin from here and the extremity from here. What do you get? A A. A A. What do you mean by A A? You still on in the same place. If you start uh, from A and finish from A, so you are in the same place. So the answer is zero vector. Okay. Yes. So here we have consecutive vectors. Uh, however, in the parallelogram, the vectors must have the same origin. That is, if I am adding the first one is AB, then the second one would be, for example, AC. And the answer also must be starting from the same origin A, but ending with a new point, neither B nor C. It's a new point, what? For example, D, where D is what? Where D, we say, where D is the fourth vertex of parallelogram a, B, D, C. A, B, D, C. So I repeat, here in the first case, we have consecutive vectors. Consecutive vectors. So in this case, if the first vector is A, B, and the second vector is BC, then the answer would be skipping B and directly starting from A towards C. So the answer is AC. This is in the case of consecutive vectors. However, if we are in the, the case of two vectors starting from the same I'm having the same origin. This is vector AB, and this is vector AC. So the result will be a new vector AD, such that D is the fourth vectors, uh, the fourth vertex of the parallelogram. We have to complete the figure to get a parallelogram. How do we do this? Look here. We take a parallel to AB from C. And then we take a parallel to AC from B. And their intersection will be the new point D. And in this case, we say that AD is the result. And in this case, the whole figure becomes a parallelogram. That is AB, DC is a parallelogram.
Now, 